Hey everyone, and welcome to the very first day of DIY December. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this really cute and festive makeup brush holder from an upcycled candle container. The first thing you're gonna need for this project, obviously, is a candle container, and you want to use a candle that you've used up because then you would just be wasting the candle. So I have this one from Bath & Body Works, but any other candle container will also work. Then you're gonna need some spray paint, and I used a quick drying white paint, but you can use whatever color you want. I just went with white because I'm incorporating snowflakes into my design and I thought it was appropriate. You're also gonna need some puffy paint. And no matter what spray paint you go with, you're gonna wanna use a white puffy paint just to make sure everything blends nicely. Then you'll need some sort of filler so your makeup brushes will stand up when you put them in the container. And I just went to a craft store into the floral section and found this bag of beads for like three or four dollars. From here, you're gonna need some sandpaper. And I would recommend sticking with with a medium grit, so something between 100 and 150, but you don't wanna go any higher than 150 because that's gonna be too fine, and you need something a little bit more coarse and abrasive for this project. And last, you're gonna need some sort of design that you can trace over, and I just decided to go with snowflakes, but you can choose whatever you'd like. I just went online, looked at pictures of snowflakes, and then drew my own, but you can easily print them out as well. All right, so step number one is to remove that excess wax from your candle container. And I've shown how to do this in a previous video, so I will link that here and down below in the description box. And next, you wanna remove that sticky residue that the labels leave behind. So I just take some vinegar onto a cotton pad, and this seriously just dissolves all the stickiness. And you can use this on anything that has a sticky residue. So it can be really annoying sometimes when you remove labels and it leaves that gunk behind. This works on everything, it's awesome. And once your candle container is clean, you're gonna scuff it up with the sandpaper. And this is why you need something that's a little bit more abrasive because it needs to scratch up the glass so the spray paint and puffy paint won't just slide off of it. Once you're finished, you should be left with something that looks like this and then you can move on into the painting. Now you wanna make sure that you're spraying on a very thin layer of spray paint because you still wanna be able to see through the paint. This is just to help the puffy paint stick onto the container, but you don't want it to be completely opaque yet. After the sides are finished, I just spray the bottom as well. While the paint is drying, I'm gonna be moving on to my snowflakes. So I still have them attached here to the original paper that I drew them on. So I'm just cutting them apart so each snowflake is separate. But you can do the job. And now all you have to do is take those snowflakes and arrange them on the inside of the container and tape them down with some scotch tape. And you can just arrange these in any way you like. Whatever you think looks best, it's totally up to you. Once everything is arranged, you can take your puffy paint and start tracing over the designs. And this is why it's important that you spray a thin layer of spray paint over the container because you still need to see the snowflakes through the paint so you can trace them over with the puffy paint. And you wanna make sure that the puffy paint is pretty prominent, so don't be afraid to make the lines nice and thick. You wanna let the puffy paint dry for at least four hours, and then you can come in and spray paint the heck out of it. So this is where you wanna make sure everything is nice and opaque, and when you're finished, you'll see that the texture of the puffy paint really makes the snowflakes pop. Once the paint is completely dry, all you have to do is fill it up with those filler beads, stick in your makeup brushes, and you'll be left with this really cute and festive makeup brush holder. I think this is great for yourself as well as gifts for a friend, your sister, your mom, and you can really customize it towards the person as well and get creative with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make these makeup brush holders. And if you make one of these yourself, be sure to tweet or Instagram a photo using the hashtag DIYDecember so I can find your photos and like them and retweet them. And I just think it's super fun to look at all of your pictures. If you'd like to make another little snowflake craft, I did one over on the Disney Style channel. So I will link that down below for you guys. And that is gonna be it for today. So I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.